Roberto, how do you feel about being labelled as title favourites now? <laughs> because we beat the United, we are favourites. I think that our feeling is good, but uh, that game is, uh, is in the past now. It's in the history. It's finished. <laughs> now we should have a uh, focus uh, about uh, Wolves. This. Do you see yourselves at all as title favourites? Are you comfortable with that, with that tag? No, I mean, it's not important, this. I, I think that uh, there are four or five teams that can, can win a title. In this moment, we are on the top, but the table can change every, every game. The season is long. Do you believe that it is that many that can win the title? Is it yourselves and United and yeah, possibly United, Chelsea? No, United, Chelsea, for me, Liverpool, Tottenham, that has a one game in hand, uh, maybe Arsenal. The season is very long. From after the, ne the next uh, international break, we play every three days for uh, six months. It will be very, very difficult. Who, though, do you see as the main rivals for the title? United. Uh, at the moment, United, Chelsea. Uh, so. Newcastle. Newcastle. Newcastle is a good team. They started the season very well, but I don't think that they can win a title. No. Roberto, what's made the difference with Mario Balotelli on the pitch, at least, anyway? <laughs> After the fireworks? <laughs> Even before. <laughs> no, but Mario, in, as I told you last week, Mario, in the last two months, uh, he was uh, more serious. He did the training very well. But I hope that he can continue uh, like this. I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> Why do you think the fans react to him the way they do? Because he's becoming a that kind of cult figure at the club, isn't he? Mario, yes. But for the supporters, he's, uh, I think that uh, he's an important player, he's an important guy. Uh, but this is a normal, because when, when you have a, 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 a player like Mario, that is, uh, is uh, not so going to be... Uh, <laughs> Is an is a ma, 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 matto in a in a in a good way in a good with good sense. Uh, no, it's particular. Uh, I think that uh, end he scored two goals in a derby. He scored a goal every time. Uh, like a player is fantastic. I think that for the support is uh, the maximum. Roberto, do you think the side's capable of maybe going through the season unbeaten, emulating what that Arsenal side did? Sorry? Is, it, is this side, your side now, capable of going through the entire season unbeaten in the league? <laughs> but Arsenal, I remember that, uh, that, uh, that team was, uh, they were a very, very strong uh, team. Uh, it in, was an incredible team. I think that is, uh, is, is, I don't think for us this year. I think that we need to improve. And what about Wolves after the Carling Cup? Will they have any kind of bet bearing? What kind of a test do they represent? Yeah, but uh, every time that we play against Wolves, we had a problem. Last year we, we lose. We lose uh, away. Here we, we beat them 4 3, but in the last uh, three or four minutes they had a good chance to do a 4 4. But the problem could be that we think that we should. We can play not 100% like against United, we think that we can play 50% against Wolves, but if we don't play seriously like against United, we, we, we can have a problem. Uh, can I just ask about what's happening as regards Colo Torre? Is he facing a disciplinary hearing next week? No, no, Colo is OK. Just regarding the, the, the drugs ban that he had, is he being disciplined by the club next week? I, this, I, I think so, yeah. Does that make him available for selection this weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just looking at the broader picture, though, do you think you're able to discipline your own players as you see fit as a club? But I think I think that Colo is a different situation. Uh, was a, a mistake. Was a 
different, totally different situation. But uh, in the other case, I think that uh, every player should have uh, a good behavior always for him and for the club. I just, I just wonder then what you think of the PFA's role in these kind of disciplinary proceedings. No, this, uh, this, is not, this is not my problem. <laughs> for me, it's not important. Two weeks for me, not important. This. 11 changes, obviously, in that League Cup game. Will you perhaps be making another 11 for the Premier League match? 11 changes because uh, we need to change all the players uh, for the, the game that we played uh, in Carling Cup. In um, Carling Cup, uh, tomorrow will be different and after three days we have a uh, Champions League. Uh, sure that we'll do seven, eight changes, 100 percent this. Yeah. Um, Mick McCarthy said, the other day that he feels that <coughs> you're in a completely different league to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Do you feel that way sometimes? Yeah, no, but this is it's possible. But uh, Mick uh, knows, knows very well uh, this league. And uh, I think that if you don't play always very strong against uh, every team, you can take uh, a risk for this, uh, I think, also. If in this moment uh, uh, we, are, we are in good form, uh, our feeling is good, uh, uh, it's important to continue to have a uh, focus on uh, every game. Are you striving for that utopia, that perfection? Because even with the six you wanted ten, even with the five you wanted eight. I think that it's difficult to be perfect in football because you don't play alone. You play against uh, always another another eleven players, and in football, uh, every game can change uh, the situation every moment. Uh, but repeat, uh, we started the season very well, but I think that uh, the my opinion that the United is uh, one yard over us more. Also, if one yard, two yards before the derby, uh, one. <laughs> Since the derby, how much have you well, because United is a, is a top team. It's different from us. United uh, is a United from many, many years. Uh, now we want to change this, but we, we need time. We need to improve. Uh, not only because we, we beat them in one, in, a, in one derby. For me, it was better to win six derby, one nil, and not one derby, six one. Your fans will remember that week. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. How have you enjoyed being Manchester City manager this week? <laughs> I enjoy always, <laughs> always uh, to be uh, Manchester City manager uh, because uh, I think that we we are working very well. But not because uh, I I think that uh, if we want to think uh, and we want to become a, a top team for the next twenty years. We can think, or we, we, can, we can be happy only because we beat United 6 1. This is not important. Do you feel that your job has changed though now with the way you're playing, with the results that you're getting? People have always asked questions can you contain this squad with so many characters? We know about one or two situations, but do you feel that you have that team spirit, the squad, everybody happy despite the changes you will inevitably make? I think that. Uh now, we, from uh, last year or two years ago, we changed totally our mentality. Uh, now, for us, uh, play away at home is the same, don't change. And this is important for if we want to be a, a top team, because uh, the pitch is always the same, also when you play away. Sometimes, when you go to play away, the game is different, uh, but we know that uh, we can lose every game. If you don't play always uh, well, always 100 percent, you don't have a focus. You you can lose uh, against every every squad. Can you, you think can these supporters, Roberto, and, and perhaps some people in the press have got a little carried away about your uh, your title prospects after the uh, victory against United? No, the supporters. For the supporters, uh, I think that is normal. They are happy, uh, very happy. Uh, but for us, that uh, we play every three days, we work every day, we know our job. 
and uh, we should understand that uh, uh, we, we should stay with our feet on the floor, uh, always. So he's in Hargreaves fit? Oh, no, in no, no. Uh, he's not fit. How long is he likely to be? On, I on think one, one week. Any other injuries? Hargreaves? Any other injuries? No, 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 no. No, no, we don't have any other injuries. Uh, all the players uh, are ready. No. How is it that the, the off-field issues that we can't talk about haven't distracted you on the pitch? You're still winning despite everything that's happening? No, 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 absolutely. Because I think that um, we are in the best moment in our history, and, and I think that uh, our focus are only on the game, on the uh, training, uh, the other situation are not important. Does it make your job more difficult? No, 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 because uh, I don't think. On the other, on the other situation, I think on my job always, I try to do the best of my job every day if it's possible. Adley Johnson was was terrific in midweek, but you still think he can improve? Do you think you're a bit hard on him sometimes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because uh, I saw many players like Adam in my life. Also, when I played and when I started my new job like manager. And sometimes a player like Adam uh, play, play well one game, the second game plays so so. And for me, one player that has the quality that Adam has should play every game on the top, every game, every minute. I don't think that uh, he can be happy only because he scored one goal or he, he did an uh, assist. I think that he has a uh, top quality. I want that he play always, uh, always on the top. Also for him, because he's a young. Uh, when you are a young player, uh, you can improve every day. If you don't think that, uh, okay, I did one, I scored one goal, uh, this is uh, enough. Uh, I, don't, I don't think. If uh, he. Listen, uh, I think that he can he can become a, a really really top uh, top wingers.